Let's look at some standard terminology now in the context of inverted ind indices. The set of terms in an inverted index are stored in a data structure called the dictionary. So this part of the inverted index consisting of the terms is called the dictionary and each of these lists of doc IDs associated with terms in the dictionary is called a postings list. So this is the dictionary and these lists are called postings lists. Each entry in a postings list is called a posting. So an inverted index has two parts. It has a dictionary portion and it has a postings lists portion. Now the question arises as to how we are going to implement the dictionary and the postings lists. In a later lecture we are going to look at the various techniques that are used for implementing the dictionary in more detail. But for now, let me just point out that you could think of implementing the dictionary very simply as just an array of strings. So you can have an array of strings over here uh, or more accurately perhaps an array of structures where each structure has a string part and it has another field which is basically the pointer to the start of the postings list for that term. And you can imagine that this array could be sorted lexicographically so that given a term you can use binary search to look up to, to, to find that term in the array and thereby go and retrieve the postings list uh, or access the postings list for that term. In a later chapter we'll see that uh, people also use more complex data structures, uh, B-trees, hash tables and so on for implementing this dictionary. Basically what you need to do is you need to ensure that if you're given a term you can quickly access the record for that term or rather more specifically you should be able to quickly find where that term is located in the dictionary so that you can follow the pointer to the postings list for that term. But we'll leave that for later. Let's now uh, think a little bit about how we could implement a postings list. So one simple way to implement a postings list is as an array. So, so we can allocate fixed size arrays for implementing a postings list. So this would be an array of doc IDs which are sorted. You can see that it, the doc IDs are sorted over here. And the reason for why they are sorted is something we'll look at uh, a few videos down the line. But, but the question is, does it make sense to use a fixed size array for this? And by a fixed size array, I mean that every array, every postings list is of the same length in terms of space allocation. So you, can alloc you allocate an array of size, uh, whatever is the longest uh, postings list, and then every other postings list also has the same size, but even if it's not filled completely. So this is not really a good solution, as you can imagine, because the length of the array is going to basically be the length of the longest postings list in your uh, index, which doesn't make sense because some postings list could be really long. If you have words like articles, you know, a, uh, the, in, on, and so on, these words are very common in the English language, and so you can imagine that there are going there are going to be a lot of documents which have these words, and so 
the postings list for such uh, words is going to be really long whereas the postings list for some other uh, rare words will be pretty short so it doesn't make sense to use a fixed size array for all the postings lists you can't have the same length because that's going to waste space how about a variable sized array by variable size array I mean that the postings list or the the length of the array for each postings list could be different so we allocate space as much as the postings list requires and if we have a shorter postings list we'll allocate an array of a shorter length so we won't have this extra space that's wasted now that's certainly a possibility but we need to contrast this implementation with another implementation of a postings list which is to use linked lists so when does it make sense to use a variable sized array and when does it make sense to use a linked list for implementing a postings list there are a couple of things that we need to keep in mind here the first is whether the corpus can dynamically change so is the corpus fixed are there new documents being inserted modified or deleted from the corpus and how important is it for you to update your index when the documents in the corpus change if we assume that the corpus is static that means that the postings lists once they are created are not going to change you won't need to add modify or delete entries from these postings lists in such a scenario it would make sense to use arrays because if we were to implement the postings lists using a linked list then the pointers in the linked list from one entry to the next entry would require additional space so we would waste space by using linked lists in such a scenario and also if we store the entries in contiguous memory locations then we can exploit caching because when we when we retrieve a block from the main memory most probably because of locality of reference the the nearby entries are also going to be brought into the cache that means traversing this postings list is going to be pretty fast if we implement it using an array a variable sized array and we will also end up saving on space because of the lack of overhead because of pointers as in linked lists but on the other hand if the corpus is not fixed if the corpus is dynamically changing and if there is a need for inserting modifying or deleting entries from the postings lists for example what happens if the word caesar is added to document 14 then we would need to add 14 to this postings list and if the if the postings list is implemented as an array then you're going to run out of space basically you'll need to um, add 14 over here which is going to be hard because there's no space here for 14 so we'll need to create space here by shifting all these elements to the right and because there's no extra space to shift all these elements we'll probably need to recreate this postings list by allocating a brand new variable sized array so if the corpus is dynamically changing then it may not make much sense to use arrays because linked lists are particularly well suited for such a scenario where, we, where you can insert delete and uh, modify elements dynamically in a linked list the other consideration is can the postings list can the postings lists fit into main memory or not if you have large body of text if you have large corpora then the postings list may not be able to fit into main memory 
in which case they would need to be stored on the disk. Now if the postings lists have to be stored on disk, then accessing them from the disk and bringing them into main memory is a very different scenario because you need to minimize the disk seek time there which is pretty large compared to accessing an address in main memory. So you can't really have linked lists when the postings lists are residing on disk because if you are jumping from one random spot on the disk to another random spot you'll be doing a seek operation every time when moving from one entry to the next. So that's not uh, that, that's not a favorable situation to use linked lists in. But if the postings lists are stored as a continuous run that is where every entry in the postings list is adjacent not just conceptually but also physically on disk maybe they are, they, they, they'll be stored on the same track on the disk in which case you need a single seek operation to access the beginning of the list and then you can read the entire postings list and bring it into main memory when uh, when accessing so therefore when the postings lists are to be stored on disk it's best to use a continuous run of postings which is analogous to using an array implementation they'll be stored along the same track to minimize seek time but when the postings lists can be stored in memory in main memory you'll need to use other assumptions like whether the corpus is static or not to decide whether it makes more sense to use linked lists or variable length arrays it's easy to insert elements in, into a linked list as opposed to an array but on the other hand in terms of space allocation and in terms of exploiting caching to speed up uh, traversals of the postings list it may make sense to use um, an array so it depends on which of these is more important but on the disk it's best to have the entire posting list implemented as a continuous run along the same track so that in one shot we can traverse the whole postings list and read it into main memory by the way a single postings list may uh, may very easily fit into main memory the question is more about whether all the postings list can fit into main memory or not and what we are saying here is that uh, for large corpora it may be impossible to fit in all the postings lists into main memory in which case we'll store them on disk and we'll bring only those postings lists into main memory which we are trying to access.